What's up everybody, Sam Taggart here with the Expert Circle Mastermind. We are here at Black Site Ranch with Dan Fleischman and Bedros. And what's really cool, like we have the real Tarzan and this beautiful epic view of Temecula. And we're about to dive in. And the theme this year is expand your leadership. So we brought in a bunch of CEOs and they're from all over the country. And we said, hey, how do we do transformational experiences to expand our lives? And they brought their plus ones. We have the Circle Plus where we incorporate the wives of CEOs so that they can also level up simultaneously. And guess what? They have no idea what to expect. So it's gonna be epic. We'll see how they respond. super pumped to be here. I, uh, I have no idea what's about to happen, but I'm ready for it. Are you nervous? <laughs> a little nervous. Excited for some personal growth coming up. A little nervous because there's a bunch of snakes over in the other room. Well, I'm a little bit nervous because we have these Black Ops people that are here, and so I'm not sure what's going to be going down. We were pretty stoked until we sat next to Lance on the airplane. <laughs> and he's like, dude, do you guys know what we're doing? I've been in this circle now for a couple of months, and it's cool that we get to meet every month and now come together and experience all this together. So it's good. I'm really thankful. And at this Last Chance program, I started learning leadership skills at 16 years old, how to write resumes and cover letters and interview. I started learning how to build computers, and I got certified in all these different things but there was still so much chaos in my life and in my home. I couldn't quite wrap my head around the potential that I had. How many of you guys have ever felt like there's this potential? Even now, you guys are incredible leaders and entrepreneurs and business owners and parents, but even now, how many of you guys feel like you're not touching your full potential? Yeah. So much of that is ingrained deeply in us. Like you feel it. You're like on the precipice of like jumping off the fucking diving board and yet you're still tied to the ground. And you're like, fuck man, if I could just like, ugh, just do it. But we don't. So much of that is the programming. So much of that is the pain, the suffering, the hurt we've been through. The moments in which we didn't show up for ourselves because we were taught it's okay to not show up for ourselves. We were taught it's okay not to be great. We were taught it's okay not to be the hero of your own story. Somebody else will come. You all know that's a lie. Nobody's there for you in those moments in which you gotta make payroll, when you've gotta figure it out, when you've gotta feed the kids, when you've gotta get on the plane, when you've gotta go knock the next door. You know that. And yet we're told this lie constantly. Don't worry, we got you. But the person who has to got you is you. And that's why I'm proud of all of you for being in this room, because you made decisions along this path and along this journey to show up for yourselves. How many of you guys have ever thought money was the solution to your problem? How many of you have discovered money is not the solution to your problem? Exactly. And so as I'm sitting in the car, because I didn't yet come to the second phase of that question, I thought to myself, I'm going to make 100 thousand dollars a year legally by the time I'm 21. Mind you, no high school diploma, no college education, no real experience other than being a boy scout and going and knocking doors and selling popcorn. <laughs> and I was like, I'm going to figure this out. And the legal part was so important here because I have family in prison for life. Even to this day, my uncle's been in prison for almost 40 years. My three childhood best friends have been murdered over drugs, and I've been in handcuffs more times than I can count. And I was like, man, if you can do this legally, you can change everything. And so I started sacrificing everything around me, my friendships, my relationships, my health, and I chased money. And when I was 21, heading into 21, is like a week before my birthday, I had landed this job at a Fortune 10 company. No high school diploma, no college education. I cashed my first check for $10,000. By the time I was 25 heading into 26, I had made almost a million dollars. But I paid a price for it. A massive price. A price of integrity, of values, of love, of compassion. 
I'd done anything that it was required to do to make this money. So this is the first circle games where we are literally challenging everybody to different games, put them in teams, and just to build community. Like sometimes like conferences get so like, needs to look like this with trainer this and speaker this. And I'm like, no, it's about community and connection. And that's like one of the biggest core principles in our mastermind group. So just make some new friends. Over the damn fence right there. There we go. That would have been out of this thing. Hey, D, were you impressed with my batting skills? Were you impressed with my batting skills? I was. Am I really cool? Am I trying cool right now? Like, actually might have hit two home runs and striked out only once. There was a couple, like, that would have gone. Yeah, like, there was a couple. There was a couple pop flies, for sure. For sure. That was good. Impressive. I'm, I think but it's very attractive. Golf, so is that fair? Golf and baseball are nothing of the same. Billy! Billy! Nice. Beat! spiritually. It's nice to be around good people and to be with my spouse and be put into situations to where I have to be forced to grow and it doesn't matter the level you're at. There's a, there's a pattern of uncomfortability whether it's it's her or it's me and it's the ability to be able to push through, lean on others, learn from people and just absolutely grow as a human being. The strength behind being vulnerable and asking for help, uh, learning that this team is is willing to pick up and help out anytime you need them. It's just as simple as reaching out and um, implementing that into your everyday. And the opportunity that I really saw was that I needed to get outside of myself. And every single activity here gets you outside of yourself, such that it gets, it, it almost gets so out, you get so outside of yourself that it hits a subconscious and an intercellular level to, to look at things from a physiology perspective. But as the newest member of D2D, I, this, was, this was next level. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. I already feel like these people are like family. You know, it's only been a day and a half, but it's pretty remarkable to get broken down so far and feel like you're pushed to the extreme, like the end, you know, past your limit. But in the end, it, it really brings you down to your core of who you are and what matters most to you and what you want to become, you know, so really cool. All right, we're going on the tour real quick. I'm here with Shannon. She's the one that runs all these things. She's the ultimate badass. And uh, Komodo Island. Komodo Island. So you got Komodo dragons here. Um, so in the expert circle, we decided it's all about experiential events. So we look for cool places, like we're going to Tahiti this year, we went to Switzerland last year, and we got some camels right here. Um, they're actually really careful, they spit. <laughs> I've ridden a camel before, it's epic. So we're here with the Zors. It's so one of a very rare breed. I'm assuming you can ass assume what it is. It's a half zebra, half horse, and uh, really cool. Super beautiful, the fur, or like the coat on this. That is dope. Sam for providing such a phenomenal experience. Truly grateful. Seriously, Heart thank soft. you so much.